on a flying visit to South Sudan, the United States ambassador to the United Nations saw firsthand the challenges faced by the hundreds of thousands of people sheltering from ongoing violence. In the capital, Juba, more than 33,000 internally displaced people have sought sanctuary in the protection of civilian site next to the UN base since civil war erupted in 2013. Nikki Haley toured the camp to see for herself the living conditions. As the country's largest humanitarian donor, the US has invested more than $11 billion in South Sudan. We're disappointed by what we're seeing. This isn't what we thought we were investing in. What we thought we were investing in is a free, fair society where people could be safe. And South Sudan is the opposite of that. But we are not going to give up on the South Sudanese people. We are here to fight for them. We're here to help m do whatever we have to to make peace and security become a permanent part of South Sudan. The ambassador left the country's political leaders in no doubt of the U.S.'s opinion of the ongoing conflict. I didn't come here to talk. I came here to basically say the time for action is now. We're not waiting anymore. We need to see a change and we need to see it right away. And there's nothing that they can say at this point. We have lost trust in the government and we now need to regain that trust. And the only way to regain that trust is through the actions of taking care of all of the people. President Kier is the president of everyone, not just one tribe, not just one group. And in order to be a leader, you have to be willing to take care of all of your people. And so it was a harsh message, but on the other side, he listened, he accepted, and he promised that we would see changes. Those sheltering in the camp are also desperate for change and progress towards peace. They used the opportunity provided by the ambassador's visit to urge the U.S. to hear their plea for help. The ambassador says the U.S. is listening and is committed to ensuring the future generation get the opportunities they deserve to live a peaceful, dignified and prosperous life. Our concern is for the children. These children who are getting into armed conflict as early as nine years old, these children who are not being educated, those are the future leaders of South Sudan. So for the good of the children, we need peace. We need all of the groups to say, enough, we're not going to do this anymore. For the good of the children and for the good of the future of South Sudan, it's extremely important. The UN mission in South Sudan is working to protect civilians and build durable peace. It welcomed the opportunity to brief the ambassador on the political and security situation faced by the peacekeeping operation. It's great to have her here. Uh, she spoke very passionately and strongly about wanting to see peace and to see change in South Sudan. She had some very supportive messages to to give about the work that we're doing um, in the UN and, and UNMIS, which we're grateful for. And to be able to carry that impression back to the, to the Security Council and be able to speak you know, authoritatively and understand having been here, I think will be a great, uh, great help to moving things along. As the ambassador headed back to New York, she made a promise to the people of South Sudan. We are not going to forget you. We're not going to put these issues away. We're not going to turn a blind eye to them. We've heard the stories. We know the actions. We know the tragedy. And we know that healing is going to take a very long time. But the United States is not going to give up on the people of South Sudan. That promise of support will provide some reassurance to those suffering from the constant conflict who are desperate for the guns to be silenced so they can return to their homes and live in peace.